Hey, what's up, sports bettors? Matt Modi with Thoughts Jam. And what we're going to do in this video, I have some WNBA best bets for you guys. So on a little bit of a hot streak with my WNBA picks, yesterday there were four games. I had two free picks that both hit. One, uh, both for plus money, which was nice. One was the Lynx money line posted here on this YouTube channel, plus 115 odds. The other one was a money line parlay of the Mercury and the Sun. Both won. That was about plus 145, plus 144 odds, something like that. In the uh, paid Discord, I had uh, five total picks, and those went three and two, plus about three units on those. So all in all, five and two on my WNBA picks yesterday. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, everything that we place is being tracked in this Discord. Uh, we have the free picks, which I posted in MLB one today. Here, there was my uh, Moneyline Parlay and the Lynx one as well, both posted in the free picks. Um, and then we also have some paid stuff as well. The logic behind the paid stuff, just to comment on that for a second or two. We understand that not everybody has the time to do the line shopping and the research and everything that it takes to identify profitable bets that Alex and Randall and I do because it's our job, which is amazing. Um, so we figured we'd make the Discord where we can post our most expert picks. So everything that we post is being tracked in this spreadsheet here. Um, had a little rough go of it about a week ago and then again the past couple of days, but we're on the upswing. The, yesterday alone, we are up about nine units. So bringing this total loss to just below eight, which is much better than it was before. So riding another, riding a hot streak, hopefully we're going to keep it going today. Um, for the WNBA slate today, actually, sorry, one last thing. The Discord, the link to it is in the description of the video, as is this profit sheet that I just brought up. Uh, and the last thing is that if you do want to sign up for the Discord, sign up for the expert picks you can uh, and get 66% off between now and football season. So I'd recommend taking advantage of that. Join us while we're on our hot streak. We can all start uh, cashing together. Uh, but for today's WNBA slate, we have two games, the Aces versus Fever and the Liberty versus Sky. Two games that are probably going to be blowouts, if I'm being honest. You see the money line minus 510 for the Sky, minus 1000 for the Aces. So not going to have a money line play. Two also pretty massive spreads. So if you look at both spreads here, if I go to the Fever versus Aces, it's like a 14 point spread for the Aces. Um, some places have it 13 and a half, heavily juiced towards the Aces. Um, and then for the Sky, I think the last I checked, that's settling around like nine and a half, ten. 10. So two double, yeah, exactly right. Two, the nine, two books that have it at nine and a half, heavily juiced towards the over. So basically two double digit favorites. So I had to be a little bit creative with my best bets here. While I do think both of these teams win and cover, as of right now, no positive expected value play on each. But there um, are two plays that I did identify that I really like that I'm actually going to combine in a parlay. So number one, I'm going to use the parlay builder on Oddsham. So let me move my camera over here and you'll understand why in just a second. Uh, so the first play that I wanted to add was the first quarter money line um, for the aces. So first quarter money line. Uh, this is just going to be a parlay. So I'm not going to take this straight. But as we can see, I mean, heavily juiced towards the aces. So if I click this button here, uh, it adds it to the parlay and then you see this show up purple. Now, if I click this, I have one bet slip in my parlay. So this is the first leg of the parlay. And just looking at this objectively, so the aces versus the fever, the aces have the third best net rating in the entire WNBA. The fever have the lowest by far. They're almost double the, low, the second worst uh, team in the entire WNBA. They're five and 25, really, really bad. If we segment just by the first half, the Aces have the best first half net rating. Again, the Fever are at the bottom. And if we just look at, so if we reset this and just look at the first quarter, what we see here, Aces are the second, Fever are the last. So everything, I mean, obviously you're paying for the juice here. And I was just looking at the last time these two teams played was only a week ago. At this point, Vegas was up Scored them, outscored them by six in the first half, first quarter, by 14 in the second quarter, up by 20 at halftime. So me buying the juice on the Aces first quarter money line, I think is worth it. Um, just because of the absolute complete mismatch between these two teams. So that's the first leg of this parlay. The second one 
the go to the sky versus liberty in this case i am going to take the first half money line of the chicago sky so i'm going to add this to my parlay just again click add to parlay and the same exact logic applies so if i reset this right and i rerun it um the sky second best net rating in the entire WNBA. the liberty have the third worst and let's look at it by first half the sky not quite as i mean they're still the fourth best team they're still i mean plus 8.6 net rating is really good but again the liberty just be, they're our second to worst only with the fever being worse than them so basically we're betting on two of the best first half slash first quarter teams against two of the worst first half slash first quarter teams so if i take this away and again just look at the first quarter sky have the best liberty have the fourth worst so the liberty really stink in the second quarter so that's why i am taking the first half for the sky but all in all two blowouts i think both teams end up winning and covering but the value on on that is just too high to put in a parlay uh, of those teams winning and covering and both teams winning by double digits so i'm willing to pay the juice minus 133 odds on typico minus 148 on caesars i think is worth still placing it this is going to be a three unit play for me so let me just go ahead and log in and check this one out we have it up here this is going to be a three unit parlay played on typico let's see if they let me get this one in unfortunately they won't let me get this amount in so we can see if we could just how low we can get try 50. so as you can see i can't get this at uh really that high of a rate on typico so i'm actually going to accept the uh, little bit worse odds and go ahead and place this one on caesars all right so i have my parlay up on caesars they do let me take it so i'll go ahead and place this again for three units at a little bit worse juice but that's okay um, and that's going to be my WNBA pick of the day as well as my parlay of the day. So if you're tailing, I'd love to hear it. I think this one, despite the juice, is uh, is a really good play betting on these teams to come out hot. So that's going to be my pick. Again, if you're tailing, love to hear it. Let me know. I uh, Hit me up on Twitter, Modi underscore Matt. You can comment on the video. Let me know you're tailing that way. But that's going to be it. So I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.